To find the x-intercept of the function x cubed minus 2x squared plus x minus 2, I first want to enter the function into the calculator. To do that, I'm going to press y equals, and then I'm going to put in the function. I'm going to first use my variable key, this button here that has x, t, theta, and n. Okay, so I'm going to press that and I first want to take x and then raise it to the third power so I'm going to use the caret key and you'll notice that it opens up the exponent so I'm going to press 3. Now to get your cursor to be back down outside of the exponent I'm going to click on the right arrow. Some TI calculators um, don't have that with um, your exponent. Um, some do. Okay, and then I want to press minus, and then 2x squared, and I can go ahead and use the shortcut here of my x squared key, plus x minus 2. Okay, so I first want to graph this, so I'm going to press graph, and you'll see that we have an intercept here and it looks like it's approximately at the point 2, 0. To find that I'm going to use the calculate menu. So I'm going to press second and trace and you'll see that the second choice is 0. Um, the x-intercepts are also called zeros so I'm going to be finding the 0 of the function. Okay, so you can either scroll down to 2 and press enter or press 2. Now it's going to ask you for a left bound and a right bound. In other words, we want to get close to what we think the intercept is on the left of it and on the right of it. So I'm first going to um, move my cursor on the calculator over a little bit to the left of our potential zero and click enter. Now it's going to be asking for the right bound. So I'm going to move the cursor a little bit to the right of that intercept and click enter. And then it's going to ask for guess here so you want to press enter again. And you'll see that it gets um, a very good approximation of the zero. In this case it turns it gives it exactly. Um, our zero is at the point 2, 0, which is also the x-intercept.